I got you some pretty autumn flower or flowers, autumn leaves to look at. Autumn flowers. Boy, you can tell my brain is going. I haven't got much juice left. That's what I want to talk to you about today. Again, I'm just kind of shouting into the void. And maybe I'll be able to articulate this and maybe I won't. Uh, and maybe somebody will feel the same and maybe I'll just sound like a wiener. Um, I'm in my 30s. So I am in my mid-30s. I'm pretty squarely in the center or, or, or the older end even of what is considered a millennial and I'll kind of be talking about, like, the generations or whatever, if that kind of talk bothers you. Just, you know, know that I'm using it basically for, like, ages and sort of general uh, attitudes and not that I'm trying to point any one person out or anything like that. But that's, that's the age group I squarely fall into. And we are the cliche, you know, everyone's sick of millennials bitching because that's all we do. We bitch, 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 bitch. Our lives are so hard. Bitch, 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 bitch. Everything's so expensive. Bitch, bitch, bitch. Yeah, and I mean, yeah, it, it's expensive and it's not a good time. And I'm in my mid-30s and only very recently have I started to feel stable. Like, we got our life together. And it definitely feels like I was supposed to feel like an adult. Like I'm reaching adulthood much earlier than this. And yet here I am mid-30s, finally feeling like I have the ground under my feet and I've reached adulthood at last. So, and I don't think that's a very uncommon feeling for people in my age group. You just, you still feel like a, a struggling kid for so long. And even now, it could just be, you know, all it would take is me or my husband or something to get sick and we'd be in that struggling kid place all over again. So... It's, it's not a fun time, and it's very mentally stressful, and a lot of us have mental health issues, myself included, and they've only been getting worse as life goes on, not better, and now we're living in a very tumultuous time. I don't know if you've noticed that, but there's been a lot going on, especially this year, and there's been a lot of so many things, obviously, with the virus and whatnot, but there's also been a lot of social unrest, and I have been getting into the thick a little bit. I, You guys know I participate in local Black Lives Movement marches and rallies and that sort of thing. I'm not a leader. Don't come for me, cops. I'm not a leader. I don't know anything. I'm just a member of the rank and file. I'm here to march. I'm here to chant. I'm, I'm loud. This is what I was made for. I'm here to be loud. I'm here to put myself between uh, a black person and a cop. You know, that kind of thing is if I can, is what I'm here to do. And that's it. But there's a lot of talk in the groups that I'm in. And again, this is just a general thing. Um, the Black Lives Movement, at least where I am, is very diverse. Lots of different age groups. And the younger kids, you know, the Gen Z, are definitely riled up and they're mad. And I don't blame them. And I, I'm here to help them. I'm like, yes, Gen Z, I'm here. What do you, what do you know? What do we need to do? Um, but there's also a lot of talk about, like, if things go bad after a certain election happens and things get real bad, uh, what are we going to do? Uh, you know, what kind of uprising are we going to have? And I'm not going to lie. I am utterly exhausted by the thought of having to rise up. Just the thought of it makes me want to cry because I like I've been fighting for stability for 30 something years and I, you know, still can't have it. And I know, what what am I bitching about? That's half of the problem is, what am I bitching about? I'm not black. I'm queer, but I'm a type of queer that's, that passes because I'm asexual. So, and I'm married to a man, so I look very straight from the outside. So I have that passing privilege going on. You know, what am I bitching about? So anytime I feel like whining about it, I feel like I am just whining. Like, where do I get off? complaining about a possible, you know, possibly having to take a stand, a more aggressive stand in the future. Where do I get off bitching about that? My life has been so easy, but I can't help it. Like I spend so much of my time trying to balance 
so I don't slide into depression and want to die, you know? And thinking about having to muster the energy to rise up, to leave this comfortable place that I have finally only just now gotten into is very stressful, you know? I don't know. I probably just sound like I'm a little bitchy, whiny baby. And I'm sure, because I have seen this in myself, if shit goes down, I am going to rise to the challenge, but I'm exhausted at the thought of how that's going to be. Just the thought of how I know I will react just makes me so tired. And I just want to be a happy adult. I just want to be a happy adult for 10 minutes. And I know there's so many people who who haven't even gotten as much happy adulthood as I've gotten. And I should be grateful, and I am. And, you know, I'm not black. I'm not overtly queer. What am I complaining about? But at the same time, it's just exhausting, and there's no two ways about it. And I can't lie and say that it's not. I thought about making a comic about this or doing posts post about this. And then I was like, you know what? I haven't done a real talk video in a while. So I'm just going to sit down and bitch again while people look at the pretty trees in my yard. And we'll see how many people just call me a little whiny girl's blouse, tell me to pull up my big girl pants and get back to life. Because that's what I feel like I should be told to do. But at the same time, I just really want to take a nap forever.